Tonight, a story you'll only see on 12 News. A new government report is exposing the weaknesses of the computer system at an Arizona facility responsible for making sure that veterans get their prescriptions on time. For two years, the facility failed to implement federally mandated security protocols for their computer systems. 12 News journalist Jonathan McCall is following the story. Tonight, a new report from the Office of the Inspector General for Veterans Affairs is raising red flags about the security of government computer systems at one Arizona facility. Yeah, I'm reading the report. It looks like that there it really isn't a plan in place if a major cyber incident occurs. The Southwest Consolidated Mail Order Pharmacy in Tucson handles about 56,000 prescriptions every day for America's veterans. But according to the OIG's report, the facility's IT systems are vulnerable. You've got to have a plan in order to get those computers up and going. And with this government agency, you would think that would be uh, plan number one. Weaknesses that were first found back in 2020. A year later, six recommendations given to fix the problem. But in 2022, the report found none of them had been implemented. The report found there were no plans for vulnerabilities. The facility, quote, running software no longer meeting security requirements. 88% of the facility's servers not meeting minimum federal government security requirements. A worker's account still active five months after being terminated and still being used. The report coming with a dire warning saying the facility faces the risk of breaches to critical networks, loss of personal information, and the inability to respond to incidents if the problem isn't fixed. To do a better job as far as making sure that they're protecting veterans' information. I mean, it's just, it's, un it's really unfortunate, but there's really no excuse in this situation. Cybersecurity expert Burton Kelso says the vulnerability is the playground hackers look for and one that could impact veterans in multiple ways. Veterans have to understand too that there is a lot of medical fraud going on. Criminals want your personal information so maybe they can get procedures done that maybe they wouldn't be able to get under normal circumstances or they can sell your information on to other people who are looking to get services done. Just last year, the OIG issued five more recommendations for that facility. As of now, we've learned that three of them are now being fully implemented. Jonathan McCall, 12 News. All right.